Hello everyone, it's Mala Farm 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a tutorial video. So a lot of you guys are asking how to do a weather tutorial, how I weather my model tractors. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it today. Um I have a few samples at the moment and I'm gonna show you what model we'll be weathering. So I'm gonna show you the whole process of how to what materials you use and it's the best technique I could possibly think of or um, what other people use as well so uh, I'll show you guys right now so here are two samples of what I've already weathered as you see here we have a Dave Brown 1490 which is weathered um, along the tires and other places and then this here International 956XL it's kind of uh, lightly weathered around the tires and the mud guards so there are those two samples there but today I'm going to be weathering this New Holland T7210. Now you may be wondering why am I weathering this? It's quite a rare model. Well, the weathering that I do, it's very easy removed off. So if I just, as you see here, the the weathering all comes off. So if you got a a baby wipe, you could easily take it off in less than five minutes. So I'm going to weather up this T7210 and I kind of want to add a bit dirt to it um so the stuff i use guys is this stuff here now it is very very fine stuff which is what you want for 132 scale you don't want big clumsy clumps of stuff and you want to really dry it as well so as you see it is very nice stuff so before i get to how to weather it we'll start at the beginning what, what materials you need so guys, just out here in uh, the garden and have a bit of topsoil left over from a shed. So as you see, there is a bit of few stones and clumps in it. So don't worry about that. Get a good bit of it. Um, take out the stones as they'll be definitely won't need it anyway. So stuff like that. But the stuff like that there guys, that's what you want. It'll be all sieved out, so it'll be left to dry, and then it'll be all sieved out. So that's that's the idea, and we should have enough of that anyway. Um, I kind of want to get a good bit as I'm kind of low on the stuff, so it'll be around that that amount of stuff that'll fit in your hand, guys. Is why you need to weather a tractor, but it's better to have more than you need so better to have it than looking for it so I'm gonna take this with me guys and I'll show you the rest of the steps on how to do it you're gonna really want to let this dry for an overnight anyway if you leave it by a radiator or if you have a fire maybe leave it by the fire um, it'll dry overnight um, one or two nights should definitely do it but and then after that you sieve it out so the soil is back up at the farm here and um, as you see there's a good difference between the, the dry soil and the soil that still has a bit of moisture in it. It is pretty dry as the time of year. It's, it's got a good bit of drying as it's been left out in the sun for a good bit but still a bit of moisture in it. It's only after rain in there yesterday so you can see why. Um, but yeah this should dry overnight and then after that. I will get the sieve out and it'll take all the lumps out, like the stuff like that, um, and it'll end up like that there. So, pretty simple, guys. Just takes a bit of time, and other than that, you have a tractor like this that has adds a bit more detail. So, it's been 24 hours, guys, and the soil is very, it's relatively dry. Um, I'd say we're nearly ready to get sieve in, so. Now there is another additional thing you can do if you want to go into good detail um, and it's you can get another material from this that you can use for the model farm. So what we have here is a, a potato, I forget what they're called now, it's a potato sieve or something like that. Um, basically as you see there it has holes in it, bigger holes than a sieve would have and it'll get Kind of big lumps out and you can kind of use it for something else you can maybe use it for potatoes um or anything like that so 
and then whatever I get from that I'll have the big lumps left in the in the bowl here and then whatever goes underneath will be the small stuff as you can see there so that's the idea of it and it'll get another material of it as well so this is what I basically do um, and it works it doesn't work too bad um, basically you don't have to you, if you don't want the other material but I'm just gonna show you guys if you uh, want to know and it doesn't take long at all it's already a lot of the lumps are starting to show up so as you see there there's some nice soil there now um, I'm going to even sieve it a lot more and get even more finer with the fine sieve so guys when you're done you should have stuff like this left now I wouldn't really use this for the weathering if I'm honest with you it's there's still small little lumps that wouldn't really stick to the tractor so this stuff would be great for a field if you want to use it for a field or a trailer it'd be great for that but for weathering use I'm going to sieve it again with the fine sieve you'd see in the kitchen so here it is you may know the how sieve and you'll see guys once I put her in the stuff will start showing it's a lot finer and it gets the stuff that's in the sieve at the moment as you see it's a lot bigger bigger stuff that likes of that stuff wouldn't really stick to the tractor at all so this is the stuff that I was saying you can use as potatoes or as stones like if you're stone picking so it'd be great for that um, potatoes it looks really like potatoes now maybe the colour is a bit off but if you really want to do a potato scene you could say when they're getting washed that, that these are the dirty potatoes and then you can try and get some clean potatoes on the other end just an idea for you guys um, I don't think I'd ever do a potato, a potato scene just it's not in my area and wouldn't have the greatest of interest in doing a potato scene but um, each to their own and I'm gonna put that into the other bowl there now as you see the stuff we have it's very fine and there's kind of two different different soils here so this soil I got a while ago and it's actually from a tillage field so I, I suppose you could say the nutrients are kind of gone out of it a bit more than this soil here it's a lot more black uh, kind of topsoil type stuff so that's just the differences there and we'll get weather now guys so guys we're going to start into the weathering so the soil is perfect so it is and it'll actually look um i think it'll look a lot nicer judging that it's kind of more brown or uh, more blackish so we'll see how this goes guys so first off the thing about models that throws it off um, you may see really good photos and the thing you, you can kind of see that throws it off from telling if it's real or not is the, is the tyres now unless the tractor is brand new the tyres wouldn't be clean like this so that's what we're going to change at the moment and even by wheeling in it you can kind of start to see a small difference uh, but nothing massive so this is where um, another technique comes in you just pull a bit of moisture from your mouth and you start rolling it and you can see the difference there it starts um, sticking to it and even you can start a bit of lumps might get stuck there so you might just uh, blow it off and um, yeah, that, that's, that's the likes of there starts working and 
you might even have a bad mud guard for instance you might I know if you're a trailer or something or a plowing or a muck spreading you might get a bit at the back linkage as well so same as the tire just put your moisture to it and it'll all shake off so there you go And you can do the same around steps and stuff. And as I said guys, don't be afraid. It can all come off very easy with a, a baby wipe. So um, it's not like you're actually ruining the model or making it worth, uh, making the value a lot less. Um, the way you can do that is you can get paint brushes and stuff. I don't really like doing that. I used to do that when I was younger, but I'm totally against that now. Um, let's do a bit more around the where a bit of mud would get stuck along the on the along the guard there. And even a bit along the wheels there, you sometimes see. So there you go. Less than five minutes and the tractor already makes a big difference. And it'd be look really impressive in the field, I must say now. So, so I'm after doing a bit more there, um, and yeah, the tractor really is really looking good. And this technique, guys, it applies to like anything really, even to like sheds or anything like that. It, it can work in any instance. Just once you put the moisture with your mouth, um, to the whatever it is it'll work and um i want to show you guys how to remove it it's pretty simple um i will uh, baby wipe here and just a rub like that and you can see the, the model is, is already clean even along the bonnet here just a little dampen with, with the cloth and it, it clears off like that so it's really best way of weather i could possibly think of and Best way of weather now you could think of, and it works really good, especially you're able to remove it like that. So, um, and I've also I've done a few implements there before, and it, they all look good as well. Even a muck, a muck spreader or a plow or a slurry spreader, they all turn out good. And really, guys, it doesn't cost anything at all. Um, like the sieve you can get from your kitchen. I mean, this is an old sieve. So it won't be one that I'd be using again with flour. So um, this is an old sieve that's not used anymore. Um, it's just a tray and a bit of soil from your garden or anything like that. It'll work, guys, or even in a tillage field or anything. It'll work. So really cost effective and it doesn't really ruin the model either. So let me know, guys, if you want any more tutorials like this, maybe on... Um, rusting a tractor um or other modifications like that let me know guys in the comments below let let me know guys if this technique will work for you and if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you again in the next video bye for now